Spoil Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports. Dimitri, huge congratulations. You're over the first round hurdle here in Coventry for the Ball Sports World Grand Prix. Yep. Is there a few nerves going up there for the first time? Um, it's not the first time I've been on the World Grand Prix no. stage. Well, I mean, Last year was the first time. time. In um, well, then again, I've played uh, the World Match Play and I've played it in front of no crowd. Um, so it's not the first time that I've experienced this. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm happy the way I played. I can only tell myself, like, this is a next hurdle that I accomplished, uh, that I have achieved. Because last year I played the first round, I didn't manage to win. Now I did. I felt stronger, I felt good. I listened to my manager advice. I listened to uh, my family back home. They just gave me a few messages. My girlfriend gave me a message. You know, all of that together make me stronger. And that's why I still believe in my own ability. And uh, I am through into the next round. And the next round I'm going to be preparing for right now. That's the only thing I'm going to be doing. What was it like being introduced? as the World Grand Prix champion and walking on? I don't even know if they said it. Um, I know I had to play the number four of the world and I was standing there and I know that um, they've going to introduce me either way or a world youth match play, cha uh, a world youth champion or a world match play champion. But I wasn't busy with that. I was standing there and I knew I had to play Michael Smith and if I just prepare my game and if I play my game I'm going to be able to win against him and after the first uh, first set under a huge pressure being 2-0 up 2-2 two, two, and then the 1-5-6 one, five, six, five, uh, to start that was like okay come on build up on that and I'm back to basics and then the 180 followed and yeah I feel strong. I feel strong. Did you feel any extra pressure going up there now that you are a major champion? Um, to be honest, a whole lot of people have been texting me from dark players to fans to people that are legends. You can call it out to Raymond van Barneveld, Phil Taylor, Ray Wayne Mardell, um, Rod Harrington, Alan Warner Little, you know, legends, right? That, that's exactly what I'm all about. Then people have been congratulating me, but I'm saying like, I am here to do my job and I have a whole lot of achievements in front of me. So as soon as I achieved something, which is a major tournament, that's like, check, what's the next thing? I want to win another uh, major, but a major that I haven't won yet. And I am in this one now. And it was such a tough thing to get into. So yeah, small steps. I will never change it. Small, small uh, steps, yeah. We have to ask you about the knee as well. What's it like playing up on there with that big knee brace on? Is it difficult? <laughs> well, uh, it was at first. I played at the World Series Finals with uh, the knee brace and I played at the Autumn Series with the knee brace. And I've learned how it feels. Um, yeah, but from that moment on, I just got to continue because I've got to walk around with the knee brace until I've got my next surgery. The next surgery will be happening as uh, soon as the calendar of the PDC allows it. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll be walking around with the knee brace until I know that I have a few weeks off. And uh, then uh, my manager and I will uh, agree to a time and I'll tell my specialist because my specialist knows exactly what kind of job I'm doing. So it's actually in a triangle uh, thing going on. Yeah. I don't know. At the moment, I don't know. I just want to give 100% in any tournament I play. Now that you're in that top 16, though, there isn't mm. a gap, is there? You're going to have to physically, between you and Mac, you're going to have to physically find one because exactly. winning the world match play has opened up all these doors for you. Yeah. That there probably isn't time, is there? That without you missing something, perhaps? Um, I definitely have to miss something. But then again, I'm only a young lad. So I'm going to take my time and my manager and I are going to talk about everything. And when he says now and then you're going to have a few weeks extra that you could miss, you don't have to, but you could. That's when you can say to the specialist, all right, get on with it. And uh, well, after that, I'm only going to get back stronger. I know I am. I know I am. Just look at today. I won my game and I'm wearing my knee brace. So I'm going to hit my 100%. When I'm back, I'm going to give 200%. Dimitri, pleasure and congratulations as always, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for asking similar questions. Boyle Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports.
Boyle Sports World Grand Prix on Sky Sports.